Hey Pisces, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. I don't know about what, we're just going to pull the cards and see. Chaos and conflict. Alright, that's the first card that fell out. So, alright, some things a little challenging for you guys right now. You have no place like home. This is also like um, trying to find the peace out of some type of situation that keeps on happening and happening and happening. Trying to find your happy place, right? Okay, you have go the distance on the bottom of the deck, so you're almost completed something. You almost completed some type, something that you're working towards, okay? Um, also, I forgot to say this is a general reading. Take whatever resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. It just means that somebody else needed to hear that message, okay? Um, you have high priestess of water. This just tells you that water changes form, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, try to be adaptable, you know what I mean, to a lot of different situations that come in, you know, into your life or whatever. Um, it'll make it a lot easier to get through, okay? And then you have 23, which is listening, okay? So I'm going to read that to you, 23. I opened exactly to the page. There will be a beautiful girl with the skin of color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with a great deal of expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines of finding true meaning are what's required right now. Listen and learn what others don't say is what is important at the moment. And then we have, I'm going to do, I'm going to read the high priestess of water. Water is transforming elephant, <laughs> elephant, <laughs> element that flows in rivers, makes waves in a vast ocean, turns to hard, cold ice and disperses as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white fluffy clouds and rain. When you draw the symbol of water, it signifies the time when things in your life are changing in shape right before your very eyes. Go with the flow as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons and gifts. Even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later. Okay, so just like go with the flow. Like I said, try to adapt to every situation that's coming into your life. You know what I mean? Even if it's hard, try to just, you know, go with the flow and just be like, all right, you know what I mean? Let's just deal with it and see where it takes us. All right, you have ascending the mountain. Keep on going forward. Okay, so you're like going up the mountain, which means you're making progress on whatever that you're doing at the moment. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels, okay? So you're a pure soul, all right? Angels are definitely watching over you and watching over all the um, stuff that you're going through, making sure you're not, you know, going to go in a, um, on the wrong um, trail. You got break, <laughs> break in trail. Breakthrough is at hand. All right, so there's about to be a breakthrough, okay? So it's like whatever you're working through, if you feel like you keep on hitting hard walls or, or things, just keep on repeating, like I said, um, that I think is about to end. You have grounding, go deep, explore your roots. Okay, so it's like find out what you really want deep inside of you, like within you, not just like what do you want, like, you know, okay, an ice cream, but like, no, what do you really want in life and go for that narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Okay, so it's just like, you know, you just want to pay attention to the decisions that you're making and the moves that you're making. You just don't want to make something or do something that you can't take back. Tread thoughtfully, really think clear before you go ahead and make any choices. Wow, all good cards. Ace of Cups, the Sun, and the Queen of Pentacles, focusing on you, on your stability, on your career, um, getting your stuff um, together, you know what I mean? Uh, lots of growth, lots of maturity, um, lots of change. Ace of um, Cups, okay, this is a new start for you. It could be a new love on the way. And then you have the Sun, which is also a card about being free. So maybe you feel stuck to some type of situation. Like I said, something that keeps on repeating over and over. But the Sun just tells you that there is a bright future for you. There is a lot of abundance coming in for you. Whatever you're working on and that you're breaking trail and that you're like ascending the mountain and you're almost at the finish line. It's like that is going to be what's bringing you abundance. That is going to be your new start. That is going to be your stability. It's like you got three hard, three high cards that fell out for you that is coming for you. But I also see that you are leaving something that left you wounded, leaving something that left you feeling sad, right? And needing to have balance. And, you know, I feel like, you know, you you weren't so happy where you were at. You are just feeling like nothing you were doing was working. But just know that now whatever you're doing is actually, you know, it's, it's getting you somewhere else. Queen of Cups. You may be um, dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Nine of Swords. You got two nines. Out of all the numbers, out of all the cards, it's only nine. So endings, okay? There's definitely endings. And I feel like this is going to help you balance out your emotions a lot better. It's going to help you become more in tune. I think you need to start listening to your intuition a little bit more. Actually, I think you are listening to your intuition because this is the reason why you're, 
you know, ascending the mountain, like you're already on your way up and out to, to find your happiness, to find your, you know, what you want to do in life. Yeah. So I am going to pull one of these cards. I was trying to figure out which one it was. Queen of Water. I told you. <coughs> Who am I reading for? Pisces. Yeah, you guys are definitely water signs. King of Water and Queen of Water. Holy shit, that's the only two that fell out. <laughs> so, court pairs, like, which means you are about to find this new love that's coming in for you. It's like somebody that is, like, really, that you're going to be really connected to. Somebody that you really, like, um, can, how do you want to think? Like, understand each other. This represents, Queen of Water represents a feminine energy who can be in an astro astrological water sign or have a dominant water sign in their natal chart. You also may be um, resting with the water sign as well. If not, it's just an energy. The Queen of Water displays traits of empathy, deep emotions, dreamy ideas, and yearning for deep love. She is artistic, psychic, sensual, passionate, mystical, and creative. Then you got... <laughs> The, the king of water represents a masculine energy who could be an astrological water sign or have dominant water signs in a natal chart. A king of water displays true traits of empathy, deep emotions, dreamy ideals, yearning for deep love. He is artistic, psychic, sensual, passion, passionate, mystical, and creative. This can also say that you have a balance between the feminine and the men masculine energy within yourself. So you're not too harsh and you're not too easy. You know what I mean? You have a balance within those. And um, I feel like you kind of learned a lot from, like, the past situations that you've been before. You know what I mean? So you kind of figured out how to balance it all out. I feel like you are finally getting yourself back into um, gear here. You know what I mean? Getting yourself on the right track. Just know that if you're doubting your situation or doubting your um, path that you're on, just don't, <laughs> don't doubt it because you are... You're breaking trail. You're, you're making a breakthrough right here, all right? There's a lot of change. There's a lot of chaos. And with the change and chaos, you know, it's it's a little difficult to get through it, but you will be able to make it, okay? It's going to bring, bring you nothing but happiness. A brand new start, new love, new happiness. New doors are opening up. Abundant future, happiness, warmth, joy, growth, you know, everything that we all look for in life. So I feel like you're going to get it all soon for you guys. And then you got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Queen of Water, King of Water. You guys are showing through in your reading. Like, you guys are definitely getting your power back is what I'm feeling. And then the High Priestess of Water. Holy fucking shit. And I don't even curse on my things. You guys are, like, definitely, definitely, definitely showing up in your reading. This just tells me that you guys may have lost, felt like you've lost yourself. Right? You felt like you lost yourself before, but now it's like... That's not a thing anymore. Like, you are coming back in your reading like five times. <laughs> Alright? So just know that whatever you're doing is working. And it's 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 going to work for you in your best. Um, better than you think. I don't know why I can't think right now. I really can't think right now. But just know that your future is going to be way better than what you're thinking. Everything that you're doing is going to pay off. It's all going to be worth it. It's going to be worth the wait. It's going to be worth the stress and the struggles. You know what I mean? It's going to be worth it. Just keep your head up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry sometimes I can't, like, talk right. I don't know why. I don't know. My brain's weird. All right. Thank you, guys. Toodles.